as a 3, 4, or 5. However, all of its deaths are attributed to its Plinian 1982 eruption. Indonesia's Makian volcano ranks 23rd due to a deadly 1760 eruption, while Mount Mayan in the Philippines ranks 22nd. Papua New Guinea's Lamington volcano ranks 21st, Indonesia's Papandayan volcano ranks 20th albeit largely due to a large landslide in 1772, and 20th 16th the Hibok Hibok volcano in the Philippines ranks 19th with 3,000 fatalities caused. In 18th place, the Kikai caldera is quite interesting, as this largely submarine caldera produced the largest explosive volcanic eruption of the Holocene in 5284 BCE that sent pyroclastic flows up to 100 kilometers to the north. Thus, the number of deaths these scorching pyroclastic flows and surges caused is merely an estimate. In 17th place we have Indonesia's Galungang Volcano, 16th place is Guatemala's Santa Maria Volcano, 15th place is 1511th. Ecuador's Tungurawa Volcano, and 14th place is Indonesia's Mount Merapi Volcano. 13th place is Iceland's Grimsbotten Volcano, and this entry is quite interesting. As the single most active volcano in historical times in all of Iceland, Grimsvaden's eruptions while explosive have rarely caused any fatalities. And yet, between 1783 and 1784, it produced an enormous flank eruption to its southwest that both covered 565 square kilometers in lava flows but also ejected large volumes of fluorine in ash and tephra. This ash contaminated both crops and drinking water, leading to widespread deaths from brittle bones. In 12th place we have Indonesia's AWU volcano, while in 11th place we have Indonesia's Round volcano, the latter of which destroyed a major city with pyroclastic flows in 1593, killing 10,000 people. 10th place goes to Japan's Unzen Top 10 volcano, 9th place to Indonesia's Kelet volcano which is famous for its deadly lahars and frequent large explosive eruptions and 8th goes to Rinjani in Indonesia which collapsed into a large caldera. In 1257 CE, 7th place goes to Italy's Mount Vesuvius which produced multiple highly lethal eruptions from the Bronze Age to the modern era, and Colombia's Nevado del Ruiz volcano is in 6th place. Martinique's Pili volcano is in 5th, Greece's Santorini volcano is in 4th, top 5 and Indonesia's Krakatau volcano is in third, Tambora, also in Indonesia, which collapsed into a major caldera in 1815 and caused the so-called year without a summer falls in second place. And, in first place, we have El Salvador's Ilopongo volcano, which wiped out 100,000 Maya via absurdly extensive and far-reaching pyroclastic flows and heavy ashfall during its caldera-forming eruption in 431 CE. As you might have noticed, three nations appear on Final Thoughts this list more than once. The Philippines appears twice, Japan appears three times, and Indonesia appears ten times. The main reason why so many highly lethal volcanoes exist in Indonesia are due to its high population density. For example, did you know that Indonesia's island of Java by itself has a higher population than all of Russia despite being less than 1% of its size? For a volcano to earn a spot on the aforementioned list, it needed to exist in close enough proximity in the past to a large enough population center to have caused many fatalities. This is why no volcanoes on this list are in Antarctica. As a final 